Hello and welcome back to the Taylor Louise Budgets YouTube channel. You're here with me again in the same outfit because I'm double batch filming and we are going to do my challenge stuffing for the end of September. So this is going to encompass the money that I've put to my challenges from my second paycheck, my second salary fortnightly paycheck for the month of September, as well as all of my side hustle money that was nominated for challenges. So we are going to stuff my September likes challenge because I haven't gotten around to do any of the weeks of stuffing for that, as well as some of my other challenges in my challenge binder. So I hope you really do enjoy this video. Make sure to go click the like button to contribute to my next likes challenge video stuffing, as well as click subscribe and hit the bell because I'm changing things up in October, you'll see that a lot of my money is going towards the September likes challenge. So in October, I'm making it even more difficult for you to steal money from my paycheck for this challenge. And so you will need to have your bell clicked so that you can watch and like as soon as possible when I upload a video and I'm not on a schedule. So you need to have that button clicked. All right, go boop the button and stay tuned because I am going to stuff my challenges now. Enjoy my words when no one else does. I keep looking and I keep trying. Alrighty then guys, so what we have for you today is my challenge stuffing. So we've got green binder out because the grass is always greener on the other side. And we are going to skip to earlier where I counted my coins. So we have my coins first of all, and this thick boy is going to be very excited to get empty. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one dollars in golds. And I'm currently using my coin holders as my tripod. So you can't see me stuff it, but there's twenty-one dollars in golds. And 51, 50, 70, 90, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So two dollars ninety in silvers. And if you watched my last stuffing, you would know that my silvers was full and now it is like so full that I'm not sure if the lid is going to get back on. But that is almost $25, so $24.90 in coins that I've saved in the last week and a bit. That is insane. So that is just from my variable expenses and rounding everything up. For example, I went to Zarafa's today and bought my partner and I a drink each and the total came to like $17 or something like that. And so all of that money up until $20 gets saved all of the change gets saved every single time I make a purchase. It gets rounded to the nearest $5 mark and the rest is change. It is remarkable how much money you can save doing that. And you'll have to wait till the end of the year to see me count my coins. Now that we're back from that, we have taken the money out of my Tay in my challenge binder, which is my challenge cushion. So where my challenge money goes before I film these videos and nominate it to the different challenges. What we should have is six hundred dollars today going towards my challenges so let's double check that this is what we have 50 1 52 53 54 50 500 and i think i can count the rest without a calculator <laughs> 20 40 60 80 90 six hundred dollars hundred dollars going towards challenges today that is insane to me i have not made my budget too stringent mind you my sinking funds have suffered so i do need to minimize this amount in the coming month the first thing i'm going to do is start actually at the back of my binder and i'm going to count my cans for change or return it basically my soda can savings is the first thing I'm going to count today because I've got a feeling that I have visited and handed in cans since I counted this for you last. So at the moment, there's 20, 40, 50, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 50. We've got 50, 4, 50 in here at the moment. And all that's doing is actually just recycling cans. So pretty impressive that I've managed to save that amount. We obviously go through 
a lot of soda cans in this household. <laughs> then we have my travel. So travel is a sinking fund that I've decided is a savings challenge because it is. It is a challenge to put money aside to go on adventures. And it's not like we'll be able to go on any soon, but I just want to put it in my challenge binder so that it doesn't get forgotten about and so that it can be prioritized because when we have the opportunity to go away, I want to be able to actually go away. And now that we're living with my mum, I think it's even more important that we have that time when we go and explore, even if it is an hour's drive from home. I think having mini holidays together is going to be quite important. So I'm just going to add a $20 note to the travel binder today. So 50, 70, 90, 105 in travel. And we're doing this as a thousand dollar savings challenge. So we can cross off an additional $20 on there. Then we have, I'm going to bite the bullet and jump to goals, which is my September likes challenge. So this is the one you've been waiting for, I'm assuming. And that is to see how many likes my videos received in the month of September. I began the likes challenge in August after watching Snow Gardener 307 and Erin Tribbles Around Aimlessly's Transfer Tuesday or Wealthy Wednesday videos, where they do up to $100. So up to $1 for every like up to 100 for their transfer Tuesday or Wealthy Wednesday video for the week. So they only do one video a week. I changed it up a little bit in August and I did every single video in August. I also looked at how many likes it had after seven full days of being uploaded. So that has changed in September because $395 was a lot to put to the August likes challenge last month. But this month, instead, I have been calculating how many likes it has, a full 24 hours, give or take, actually only give, never take, if I forgot at 24 hour mark, just the next time that I checked it. But, but as close to the 24 hour mark as possible is when I took the numbers for the likes challenge. The tricky thing is there are 11 videos currently uploaded that have been up for more than 24 hours just this month. There is another video that went live literally a couple of hours ago, so I can't check it yet. And we still have another five days in the month to do the week four of the September Likes Challenge. So this is going to be crazy. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy the music and the little time lapse while I fill this out. video? I think you did. That's naughty. Naughty.
let's have a look at the total for each week. So week one, we had 63, 24, and 51, meaning $138. Week two, we had 38, 54, and 31, meaning 123. Week three, we had 41, 27, and 35, and 50, being 154. I can't count and it's not even counting. It's just looking at a number 153 and week four slash five isn't finished yet. So let's go 138, 123, 153, 414 plus the 35 that I know is here. We're at 449 so far. Yai karumba. Let's take out 450 for now and I'll put 450 in and I'm going to tick off all of these numbers. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty. So four hundred and fifty dollars is going into my September likes challenge. So in here now we have one hundred fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight. 20, 30, 45, 845 in there. So was 395 from last month and I just added 450. So 845, that's the right amount. This one's already close to receiving a 1000 placeholder. Caro cash, I'm gonna be using it. That genuinely feels so insane to me. Wow, $845. You guys are good encouragement, that's for sure. So that is the end of my September likes challenge for now. Like we said, there are going to be more videos, so I will have to finish this one off at the end of the month with my next paycheck. So this, my first salary paycheck for October, we'll have to finish this off. Next up, we have my 100 envelope challenge. So what I have been doing here is going one from this end and one from that end. So it would be $105 every stuffing. So let's have a look how much I've got left over. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. <laughs> 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130. So I don't have a $5 note, but that should be okay. What I would do is one, Hundred and it's one hundred and ten, and there's a five dollar note in here. So if I take five out, I'm putting in one hundred and five. Then we can get my permanent marker again and go five and one hundred. So now we have. 100, 200, 50, 3, 50, 70, 90, 400, 10, 20. 420 dollars in there. That's close to the 500 placeholder. They're gonna get some use. Next up, we just have $25 remaining. So far, we have checked on my cans for change. We have stuffed my travel. We have stuffed my YouTube September likes challenge. We have stuffed my 100 envelope challenge. And that leaves us with my $1,000 challenge. So this one here is going to get the remaining 25 today, except it can't get the five because none of these are $5. So it's just gonna get the 20. One, two, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 270 in there. So we're more than a quarter of the way through that one. And that one can also have a placeholder on my next cash exchange. And my face is back again. It is editing Taylor here coming to say that I lost the end of this video. There was another clip that I know I filmed that I obviously didn't press record. Idiot me. Anyway, so I just wanted to keep you updated that last $5, I actually stuffed my clothes 
envelope in my binder because that envelope missed out on getting $5 because I couldn't get the right denominations for my side hustle stuffing video. So yeah, because it missed out when I did my side hustle stuffing, I decided that that extra, that bonus $5, instead of leaving it in my challenge cushion, I would stuff that envelope. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video, video number 14 for the month. How crazy is that? Make sure that you click the like button, ASAP because then you will add a dollar to my September likes challenge, which I will be finishing off with the first paycheck in October and then moving into what my YouTube likes challenge will look like for October, as well as a range of other challenges that I want to start in October. Though editing this video, I'm realizing that my closing budget for August is really going to show the growth the growth that has occurred in my challenges. It is kind of blowing me away how much money is saved in my challenges. And I have you guys to thank for that because without filming these videos, I wouldn't have such motivation to actually do these challenges. It's so fun to do and share with you. But if I was just doing my budget on my own, I probably wouldn't be doing challenges. I would just be saving that money. But the extra encouragement and that creativity that gets to be utilized when doing challenges encourages me to put more and more money to savings and that means that I will hit my goals a lot quicker so thank you so much click subscribe if you want to see and be notified when my next video is uploaded and I really appreciate you being here bye guys